Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Colin Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's a C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. One of the biggest things we picked up when we picked up the Thrive 15 team was an entire team. You want an SEO guy that knows things about search engine optimization? Got it. You got a, a website guy that's built big websites like Garth Brooks website? Awesome. We have it. He's coming in. If I had to pay for that on my own outside of Thrive 15, there's just no way. For us, one of our most immediate needs when I got connected with Clay was technology. We we had a website but I had a website in Tulsa, our other partner had a website in Colorado. And they did everything from doing a drone video where they flew over all of our markets with a drone, they integrated that into our site, they built every single thing that I think of, they do. We do a podcast. If I was gonna produce my own podcast, there's no, I mean, that alone, just that alone would be what I pay Thrive, just for that. But then if you add the fact that I've got, if I need a business card design, if I need a website build, if I need this, if I need that, I know what I would pay for that, if I had to go a la carte, I feel guilty sometimes. Like I don't, I don't probably write a big enough check for the value that I get. I think there's a lot of entrepreneurs that have ideas what they want to do with their business and how they want to grow and what market they want to be in and how they can increase production and do all this. But it's not about having 4,000 ideas. It's about having 12 and executing them 4,000 times. That's the trick in my opinion. And that's where Thrive's value comes in. I feel like I have my own staff, my own like, I don't know, 20 person team that when I need something, I just go to them and it happens. Yes, 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 and yes, Thrive Nation. We are in the air everywhere. And if you want to uh, follow along on today's show, you can go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire and you can download uh, the book for free. You can download my newest book, A Millionaire's Guide How to Become Sustainably Rich for Free. Uh, you, and we're going to be teaching today specifically from page 85. Now, I'm not saying that I agree or disagree with this guy's political beliefs. I am saying he is the best-selling author of a book called The Checklist Manifesto. He's a surgeon and a professor of surgery at the Harvard Medical School. Uh, don't hold that against him. Don't necessarily believe that he's great because he went to Harvard. Either way, just listen to what he's saying here. Um, I mean, I'm going to have James read this to you. As we're talking about how to improve the quality of of your business how do you go about how do you go about improving the quality of your service if you're out there today and you own a successful business and you you want to reduce the amounts of jackassery and increase the quality that's what we're talking about today james let it rip sir we don't like checklists they can be painstaking they're not much fun but I don't think the issue here is mere laziness. There's something deeper, more visceral going on when people walk away from not only from saving lives, but from making money. It somehow feels beneath us to use a checklist and embarrassment. It runs counter to. Deeply OK, read it. Go, read it again. Line by line from the top with, with bring, bring it again. It sounds pretty good so far. Let's do it again. Let's really engage with it. We don't like checklists. OK, stop. Would you say that's accurate? I th I think so. I like checklists. Do you like checklists? They they help me out, but a lot of people don't. It's interesting. Like we'll go to the Reawaken America tour, and I'm not being uh, disparaging of of our teammates. I'm just telling you this is a reality. We go, and there's certain people on certain teams. You know, we have audio, video, video uh, web. We've got uh, public relations, a whole team that goes with us. You know, and there's certain people that every time they go, D did you bring any markers? <laughs> did you did you hey i didn't bring my wallet can somebody pay pay for the gas uh hey did you bring the hard drives hey did you bring a laptop and like the whole trip it's with this is what they do and other people show up and they've got the the laptop and the print pieces and the, every, everything they need and that's why i have a checklist for everything but it's interesting how certain people they'll bring the items that are on the checklist they'll never forget those because they're on the checklist and our team will uh, you you can't leave uh for the event unless you have the items that are on the checklist, but yet certain people f will forget their, their parallel personal version of these items. 
Like they'll forget their own laptop. They'll forget their own wallet. They'll forget their own. It's interesting. Have you, have you noticed this? I have. Okay, let's continue. All right. So they can be painstaking. They're not much fun. But I don't think the issue here is mere laziness. There's something deeper, more visceral going on when people walk away, not only from saving lives, but from making money. It somehow feels beneath us to use a checklist and embarrassment. Mm. It, it runs counter to deeply held beliefs about how the truly great among us, those we aspire to be, handle situations of high stakes and complexity. The truly great are daring. They improvise. They do not have protocols and checklists. Maybe our idea of heroism needs updating. Wow. Okay. So that's Atul Gawande. So let's just do an example. Back in the day, I ran a company called djconnection.com. I do not own it anymore. Um, I To this day, I do run a company called Elephant in the Room, E-I-T-R-Lounge.com. E I, I used to run a company called djconnection.com. Let's talk about this for a second. So when I ran the DJ company, and disc jockeys would show up to to the to the garage to the office to grab their their the, their equipment for the shows. They got to get they got to get a van. They've got to get a mic stands. They got to get mic stands. They've got to get the speakers. They've got to get the 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 play devices to play the music. They've got to get the amplifiers. They've got to get the speakers. They got to get the lights. They've got to get all those things. Why did I use a checklist, James? So you make sure that you get every single thing and you don't forget anything. But what happened, do you think, for years and years before I had those checklists in place? Things got missing. Things didn't get brought. Right? Right. It's an elephant in the room. It's our haircut uh, chain. It's a men's grooming haircut chain. Uh, why do we have a checklist for the opening of the shops? Like every day when we open the shops, you know, if you go here and they, they get it some, for somebody out there, if you buy an elephant in the room franchise, um, I would encourage you not to because it's very expensive to buy an elephant in the room franchise in terms of the cost to build out that kind of thing. But um, let's see here. <laughs> but if you do, I'm serious. I, I would encourage everyone out there to not buy an Elephant in the Room franchise from me. It costs a lot of money to do it. Uh, but if you look here, we have a checklist for everything. We have a daily shop manager checklist. This is the checklists that the shop managers print off every day. Oh, wow. To make sure that they turn on the lights, that they turn on the computers and iPads, they unlock the lobby, they place signs outside the store, they place employee tickets on the front desk. They, there's a big old list here. Boom. And then there's a one for the daily shop manager checklist, a weekly shop manager checklist, printer label instructions, how to read a pay stub. Why did we go through the process of documenting every single system needed to run a successful company right there at EITRlounge.com forward slash staff? Why would, we, why would we do that? Well, you don't want to miss out the keys of success. You want to make sure that you dot every I and cross every T. So if you're out there today and you want to create time freedom and financial freedom, you've got to document the processes, the checklists, and the documented systems. You, you have to do it. You, you, If you want to increase the quality and decrease the jackassery in your business, you got to use checklists, processes, and documented systems. Now, there's three layers. I will take notes. This is from page uh, 85 of my book here. Uh, I'm going to have you read off these three layers, and I will take notes here. So layer one is what, sir? The processes and checklist layer. Okay, this is the layer layer one, the processes and checklists layer. What am I saying? You have to have written checklists and written out processes. If you're a, if you're listening right now and you're in the restaurant business, you got to have written down recipes. If you're in the auto auction business, you got to have checklists. If you're a dentist, checklists. You you, you got to get all those systems out of your head. Why why does it have to come out of your head and become documented, James? Come on now, sell, sell me the vision. It's got to be duplicatable. And if not, you don't have a business. You just have busyness. Okay, layer two. What's layer two? Layer two, the presentation layer. The presentation layer. Now, this is how does the checklist look? You know, can someone who's not you use it? So if you go to eitrlounge.com, why do you think I have icons at the top here for all of the things that we offer? <laughs> it's easy to see. You know what you're looking at. Yeah. The icons work. Now, again, some people respond more to text. Some people prefer icons, but I made it where it's easy to find stuff. That's right. that's how we did. And that's called the presentation layer. When you go to a restaurant, why do they typically have nice menus that have pictures of food and the a kind of a nice font. Why do they do that as opposed to just handing you a, a nine point font piece of paper with all the things you could order order? <laughs> well, you know what you're looking at and you know what you want. It's the presentation layer, baby. Okay. Right. Now what's layer three? The this is why we do it layer. This is why we do it. Now this is something that um 
I, I don't know how to communicate this with enough passion to make it work for you. But if you're out there today and you own a, a, a business, um, at the end of the day, the people have to have a processes and checklists. Great. Two, great. Step two, they have to have the, the presentation layer. But three, they have to know why they're doing it. And there are certain people that won't do something unless they know why. So why did I throw away that sheet of paper? I'll tell you why. Because I'm going through my book page by page and teaching it day after day. And why am I doing it? Well, I'm doing it because I grew up poor. I know what it's like to grow up poor. And I feel like everybody out there should have an opportunity to learn the specific steps needed to grow a successful company. So anytime I have an, an appointment that cancels or a client that's out of town, what do I do, James? You come on the podcast and you talk about your book. Yeah, I, I talk about the systems. I teach this. That's what I do. So the question is, why do I do it? I do it because I grew up poor and I want to teach people how not to become poor. That's why I do it. So um, do other people share this belief? I don't know. Um, but that's why we're doing it, you know? And so if people, if you're out there today and you're going, wow, what do I do with this information? What do I do? You, you got to have layer one, the processes and checklist layer, layer two, the presentation layer, and layer three, this is why we do it layer. And you got to talk to, why do James, why do we have to huddle every single day with the team? Every single day, there's a huddle at 7 a.m. Why do I do a team meeting every week and all staff meeting on Monday? And why do I do a daily huddle every day? It keeps momentum going. It keeps morale high and it keeps everyone on target. Right. And right now, I'm just telling you, if you're in your business right now and you're not having a daily huddle, you got to have a daily huddle. Now, the daily huddle should take like 10 minutes, but it keeps the momentum. It keeps people going. Now, yesterday was, a, again, this is how it works. Some days, man, ticket requests are flying in and some days they're slow. I'll tell you why. It's because it has to do with holidays. It has to do how people plan their life. It has to do. But you know what? We All we can control here is putting forth the consistent effort, the diligence, the consistent application of effort. That's what we can control. Right. But if we don't have that daily huddle and that daily encouragement over time, people start to get emotional. They go, oh, yesterday the sales were slow. Now the last two days is slow. Now the week is slow. Now my month is slow. Now the whole year is slow. I'm just slow. Right? Right. So, okay, let's continue. <laughs> the processes layer on page 86. You can download the book at thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire. The processes layer. James, read this, just this first paragraph here, please. Go for it. The processes layer. The processes layer basically is all about the check this box and do that thing systems. It's all about the processes that your team must follow to produce the given result your company has promised customers. As an example, my super wife has some incredible recipes for creating some incredible organic fruit-based smoothies that my kids love. The two times I followed her recipes and made the smoothies, the kids loved them. However, the other 994 times I produced smoothies without using her recipes, my kids acted like a bee stung their tongues, <laughs> and they still talk about how terrible those smoothies were. There is a specific and right way to do things and a wrong way to do things. To quote the R&B pop artist who has now become a pastor, Montel Jordan, this is how we do it, my friend. You have to document the super moves that you have developed that actually work. You got to do it. Now, the script, you use the script every single day. We're throwing away that page. We use the script every day. Every day. And the script works every day. Every day it works. Now, certain people don't like the script and certain people do, but on average, it works. Right. So let's continue to page 87 of the book here. Uh, I'll be reading the presentation layer. Here we go. The presentation layer is all about presenting your systems in a way that an honest human with a functioning brain can follow. You won't believe how many times I've gone into a business to help them and found their checklists were so filled with jargon that no one had any idea what the crap was going on. In one specific situation, I recall I went into a cosmetic surgeon's office and found that he'd created jargon. For every aspect of the business, everything from BVD to ACT to MVP. And after spending a day with his team, I realized all the jargon had been created by a man who no longer worked in the office. And nobody knew what a BVD or an ACT or an MVP was. Seriously, this is a real thing. The owner didn't even know what the jargon stood for. The staff just checked the boxes on the checklist every day because they thought that that would keep them from getting in trouble. It was absolute jackassery from the root word jackass. You must present your systems and checklists in a way that your team will actually implement and execute them on a daily basis. If you don't do this, it's going to be a disaster. Atul Gawande says, this is again a best-selling author of the Checklist Manifesto, a surgeon and professor of surgery at Harvard's Medical School. He says, good checklists, on the other hand, are precise. They are efficient to the point and easy to use even in the most difficult situations. They do not try to spell out everything. 
A checklist cannot fly a plane. Instead, they provide reminders of only the most critical and important steps, the ones that even the highly skilled professional professionals using them could miss. Good checklists are above all practical. And I'll leave you with a final quote for myself that I often say and cite in my books. Good management consists of getting the people on your team to execute their daily action items with the spirit of excellence and to deliver it with enthusiasm. What? Boom. That's what you got to do. So if you're out there today and you're going, man, I want to, I want to follow along. You just go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire. Now, if you're out there today and you say, I want to come out to one of the in-person workshops and learn all the systems in one day, what you can do is you can go to thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com. And when you go there, you're going to see we have thousands of uh, happy uh, clients that we've coached into building multi-million dollar companies, thousands. And James, why do I document the successes of these people? Why do I take the time to get them on video camera testifying to the doubling of their company, well, the growth of their company? It's proof of your testimony. It works. It's proof, right? Right. So we want you to out there to well, do your research, but the next – Go to business conferences, request a ticket to our in-person Thrive Time Show, two-day interactive business workshop. And James, it's $250 to attend or whatever price people want to pay. And we're going to cover marketing, branding, sales, photography, videography, web development, search engine optimization, online ads, hiring, firing, everything you need to know to grow a business, the brand, the marketing, the online ads, accounting, management, leadership. But James, why do we let people name their price? Why can people pay whatever price they want to pay? We want to make business great again. Oh, beautiful. So if you're out there today and you want to attend one of our in-person workshops, just go to thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com, click on the conferences button. Also, if you want to schedule a one-on-one consultation with myself, I would absolutely love to help you to start and grow a successful company. And you can do that. Just go to thrivetimeshow.com, click on the business growth consulting button, business growth consulting. Click that right there. You can schedule a 13-point assessment. And uh, we'd love to help you grow your company. And just so we're all clear, I charge people seventeen hundred dollars a month to grow companies. One seven zero zero per month. It's what I do, and uh, that's how I do it. And it's month to month, and the the growth uh, that we have that we produce in the lives of our clients is epic. Um, it's it's uh, unprecedented, and it can happen to you. Again, get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. James, we're going to end this thing with a boom because boom stands for big, overwhelming, optimistic momentum, and that's what's required to achieve massive success. Are you are you psychologically prepared to bring the boom, sir? Yes, sir. Here we go. Three. Two, what? Boom. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but this come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on, on uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also, we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the 411 percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91 percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months. Or I'm sorry, the first we, we booked more deals last week 
than we did the first five months of last year from before we, we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we, we were in a rut and we the, didn't know oh, sorry. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in uh, but thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into them. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we're at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you're looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day-to-day. -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up, and he teaches people a 13-step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system. 
critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into uh, or organizing everything in their head to building it into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and uh, that's what I like him most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't... His highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show, two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. 
And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big, uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, but I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy with Tip Top Canine, and I'm the founder. I'm Rachel Wimpy, and I am a co-founder. So we've been running Tip Top for about the last 14 years, franchising for the last three, four years. So someone that'd be a good fit for Tip Top, loves dogs, they're high energy, uh, they want to be able to own their own job, but they don't want to worry about, you know, that high failure rate. They want to do that like bowling with bumper lanes. So you give us a call, reach out to us, and we'll call you, um, and then we'll send you an FDD, look over that, read it, fall asleep to it, it's very boring, um, and then we'll book a discovery day, and you come and you can spend a day or two with us to make sure that you actually like it, make sure your training dogs is something that you want to do. So an FDD is a franchise disclosure document. It's a federally regulated document that goes into all the nitty gritty details of what the franchise agreement entails. So who would be a good fit to buy a Tip Top K9 would be somebody who loves dogs, um, who wants to work with dogs all day as their profession. Um, you'll make a lot of money, you'll have a lot of fun, it's very rewarding. And who would not be a good fit is a cat person. So the upfront cost for Tip Top is $43,000. Uh, and a lot of people say they're generating doctor money, but on our disclosure, the numbers are anywhere from uh, over a million dollars a year in dog training, what our Oklahoma City location did last year, to 25, 35 grand a month. Um, to train and get uh, trained by us for Tip Top Canine to run your own Tip Top Canine, you would be um, with us for six weeks here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we've been married for seven years. Eight years. Eight years. So if you're watching this video, you're like, hey, maybe I want to be a dog trainer. Hey, that one sounds super amazing. Go to our website, tiptopcanine.com. Click on the yellow franchising tab, fill out the form, and Rachel and I will give you a call. Our Oklahoma City location last year, they did over a million dollars. Uh, he's been running that shop for three years. Before, he was a youth pastor with zero sales experience, zero dog training experience before he ever uh, met with us. So just call us, um, come spend a day with us, spend a couple days with us, make sure you like training dogs, and um, own your own business. Well, the biggest reason to buy a tip-top canine is so you own your own job and you own your own future and you don't hate your life. You get an enjoyable job that brings a lot of income but is really rewarding. My name is Seth Flint and I had originally heard about tip-top canine um, through uh, my old pastors who I worked for. They trained their Great Pyrenees uh, with Ryan and Tip Top K9. They did a phenomenal job and uh, became really good friends with Ryan and Rachel. I was working at a uh, local church and it was a great experience. I ended up uh, leaving there and working with uh, Ryan and Tip Top K9. The biggest thing that I really, really enjoy about being self employed is that I can uh, create my own schedule. I have the ability to uh, spend more time um, with my family, my wife and my daughter. So my very favorite thing about training dogs with Tip Top Canine is that I get to work with the people. Um, obviously, I love working with dogs, but it's just so rewarding to be able to um, train a dog um, that had serious issues, whether it's behavioral or you know whatever, and um, uh, seeing a transformation, taking that dog home, and mom and dad are literally in tears because of um, how happy they are. Um, with the training. If somebody is interested, I'd say don't hesitate. Make sure you like dogs. Make sure that uh, you enjoy um, working with people uh, because we're not just dog trainers. We're, we are customer service people that help dogs. And, um, and so definitely, definitely don't hesitate. Just, just come in and ask questions. Ask all the questions you have.